Hey YouTube, Christo here. Finally got my next review for you. It's been nearly a month, I'd say, since I've done a proper review, so I thought I'd get one done today. As you can tell, I'm looking at Guerlain Vetiver Extreme. Uh, this was created in 2007, and I actually can't find a Parfumé. I'm guessing it's the same Parfumé that did the original Guerlain Vetiver, but I can't say. Uh, the original Guerlain Vetiver was done by Jean-Paul Guerlain. Don't quote me, but I'm just assuming right there. Uh, this is listed as a woody spicy, and I think that fits pretty well. It's got lots of woods, lots of spice, fitting. So let's look at the notes here. In the top, Artemisia, tarragon, bergamot, licorice, and lemon. In the mid, you've got nutmeg, pepper, and incense. In the base, vetiver, tonka, and cedar. Now, to my nose, uh, without a doubt, the most predominant note is, you guessed it, vetiver. But I like this one because a lot of scents that are just vetiver, or called just vetiver, are often just over, like overwhelmingly vetiver, and I don't really like it as a note, to be honest. And this one's good because you can pick up the incense, you can pick up the licorice, you can pick up the pepper, you can pick up the spices, you can pick up the citrus in the opening, but it's not too strong after that. So. I like this one, it's a little more, um, it has a little more wide range of notes than your typical just straight up vetiver scent. Bottle sizes, only one, right here, this guy, 125 mil, um, and prices for this are actually pretty reasonable. You can get these for as little as $40 if you look around, and uh, you can get them, they go up to 70 or more. Um, I even saw a few going for a hundred, but definitely if you're interested in this or the original Guerlain Vetiver, you can get these for pretty good prices, like 50 bucks and under if you look hard enough. Alright, you guys know what I'm going to do here. Got the dry down on this side, so I'm going to give a blast and tell you guys about the opening. So, the opening, very fresh, very clean. Not your typical vetter. Right away from the beginning. Fresh, clean. You can tell a bit of citrus is there. You can tell the tarragon and the artemisia. Um, kind of green spices. Very nice. I think the opening on this is actually the best part. And um, the base, uh, sorry, the opening notes do actually last for a pretty long time compared to the length of the scent, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, so yeah, you got the citruses, the tarragon, the artemisia. Very fresh, very clean. Um, almost within a couple minutes, you can kind of tell the spice from the mid and the base are coming in. The vetiver is there, obviously. And the dry down, it's spicier, it's nuttier, it's earthier. And to me, I get kind of a strange, soapy, menthol feeling. Not like a typical mint feeling, but like menthol, like really cool, fresh, menthol, mint kind of feeling. Um, and as the scent progresses, it definitely just gets earthier and the vetiver gets more and more predominant um, until the end of the scent, by, you know, the, the last few hours of the scent, it is just really earthy vetiver, kind of like what I would expect from a typical vetiver scent, but um, before that, uh, yeah, you can definitely smell a lot of things going on in this. What does it remind me of? Well, like I just mentioned, uh, it reminds me of mentholated shaving cream, especially in the opening and the mid. I get this really cool, kind of fresh, but earthy, this is really nice because there's a lot of contrast going on here. Um, it reminds me of a man who's just gotten out of the shower. He's shaved with like mint flavored shaving cream. So you got the mint and you got the kind of barbershop shaving cream feeling. Um, and it's, you know, really hot and humid. And then you open up the door into, you know, a cold room 
and you kind of get this blast of cold air. That's kind of what it reminds me of for some reason. I always get this image of, you know, someone shaving with like mint shaving cream. Um, yeah, it's got nice contrast. I get dirty and clean, I get earthy and fresh, and I get spicy and cool. I think it's, it's really nice. Um, now, longevity, here's where it gets funny. Um, for something that's called an extreme, that smells as kind of mature and woody and spicy as this, I only get about average longevity. Um, four to six hours, that's like tops, and four hours is, uh, sorry, six hours is, is, you know, that's, that's, that's pushing it, I would say. Um, it's only average. Projection, same thing average and for something you're going to label and sell as extreme it's not really good enough for that um, if it had good longevity but the projection wasn't great I can forgive it but both the longevity and the projection on this are very average and for something extreme it's you know I would say below average for an extreme without a doubt season well, this one, I think this is a really good scent for transitional seasons. Um, spring or fall, I think this would be really good when it's not too hot, not too cold. Um, it's dirty and earthy, but it's cool and fresh. So dirty and earthy totally makes me think of the autumn, and cool and fresh definitely makes me think of the spring. So I think this would be really good um, spring or in the fall. Summer, yeah, I don't think it's uh, too strong to wear in the summer, but winter, I don't think you're really going to pick much off of it. Uh, it's just going to get lost in the air. Occasion, um, this one I think would actually be really good for a gym scent or a sport scent. It's not marketed as a gym scent or a sport scent, but I think it would be good. The kind of masculine, fresh, clean, some, wearing a straight up vetiver scent to the gym might not be very good, but I think uh, because this has you know the, the spice and the woods, the licorice, the incense, I think this would be a good out of the shower fresh kind of feeling, but it's still got a nice masculine edge on it. There's definitely not really anything feminine about this at all. Um, also, I think this would be good for casual, maybe even semi-casual, perhaps work as well. Uh, I wouldn't say it would be offensive at work. It just, yeah, some people don't like vetiver. Some people really do not like vetiver. So um, it's not overwhelming, but yeah, people might not like the kind of earthy vetiver feel to it. Age. I'm going to say this is definitely late 20s plus. Um, <clears throat> you know, kind of 28 to 30 plus. Basically because it's not a straight up vetiver scent, it's got other things in it, so it will appeal to a bit of a younger crowd than Guerlain Vetiver. But it's not sweet, it's not floral, it's not fruity, okay? So, and I know a lot of guys in their 20s, not all of them, but most guys in their 20s want things that are sweeter or fruitier, you know? chick magnets, things like that. This one, um, if you're in your 20s, I would highly recommend trying this first before you buy it because I think a lot of guys probably aren't too into vetiver in their 20s. But over that, yeah, definitely. I could see someone in their 30s. I could see a guy in his 60s wearing this. I could see someone like my dad's age wearing this. No question. Positive. Um, well, I think it's a nice designer spin on a vetiver scent. Uh, I think it will appeal to a bit of a younger crowd than the traditional vetiver scents. I think it's masculine. It's got a nice masculine feel to it, but it's not old manish. I like. I really like the contrast in this, especially in the opening in the mid. The dirty, clean, earthy, fresh, cool, spicy thing. I really like that a lot. Um, for a fresh, clean vetiver, I think this is nice. I'm not too big on vetiver, but I do quite like this one. This one's actually one of my favorite vetivers that I've tried. Negative. Well, the big one, like I said, projection and longevity are 
lacking for an extreme version. It's not terrible um, projection longevity, but for something they're going to call extreme, I want more out of it, to be honest. Also, if you are a vetiver snob, you probably won't like this. I can totally see a lot of guys who are really, really into like nice vetiver scents, especially like niche vetiver scents. I can totally see them not digging this. But still, you should give it a try. It is kind of a different take on vetiver. Um, what else? Younger fellas, yeah, really, I highly recommend you try first. Vetiver really is not for any everyone, especially younger guys. Even if you're older, a lot of older guys still don't like vetiver. I'm trying to get into it, but I don't know. I just think maybe I haven't found the perfect one yet. Recommended. I think this is a good gateway into vetiver or more mature stuff. I like this and this actually was my first vetiver scent I bought that I liked. Um, this is the first one that actually made me go, you know what, actually I do kind of like vetiver and since then I've bought more that I like but um, I think this is still one of my favorites actually. Uh, also it's good for transitional seasons. Uh, fall's coming up soon. I think this might be a good purchase for the fall. Great gym scent if you work out, if you go to the gym, I think this um, might be good for you if you want something kind of macho and masculine and you know you're kind of sick of sport flankers. But then maybe you're sick of extreme flankers. Anyway, there you go guys. There's my Guerlain Vetiver Extreme review. I hope you liked it. Leave comments as always. Let me know what you think of it. Do you like it? Do you not like it as much? Yeah, leave some comments. Thanks so much, guys, and thanks for watching.